Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel Budget with Bliss. My name is Katie and this channel is all about keeping myself accountable for my budget and finances using the cash stuffing method and creating general financial well-being. Hope you're all doing well and having a great week so far. Uh, it is payday for me today. So today's video, I'm going to be closing out um, my budget for April um, and just kind of seeing what we've got left in terms of money and catch you up on what I spent in the last week. Um, ready for me to kind of start the month afresh as of payday today for my May budget. So uh, let's kind of get into it. Uh, have you all been watching Bridgerton? Please let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen. Uh, I won't say any spoilers, but yeah, don't look in the comments if other people are commenting about what's happened with the first kind of four episodes. I literally am sitting on tender hooks waiting for the next four episodes because, wow, that carriage scene. Uh, do I need to say any more? I do not think so. <laughs> but yeah, wow. <laughs> so yeah, um, I love Bridgerton um, and I'm so glad that it's back. But I watched the first four episodes so quickly. Um, so yeah, I've got to wait ages now till the next four. And it's Download Festival when the next four come out. So I don't really know when or how I'm going to watch it. Uh, so I'm just trying to crack, get this into the screen here. But oh, it's on the huh. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, so yeah. It's been a spenny one, guys. I'm uh, not going to lie. Um... I haven't got my highlighter out again. Oh, I'm just going to use a pen. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Uh, so Thursday uh, the 16th was a no spend day. And so was Friday, no spend day. And had £30 come into my account from Top Cashback. So that was really good. Thank you to those of you who asked about my date night. It was very, very nice. Went and had a really nice Chinese. I tried this beef stir fry. That I've not had at the Chinese before, and it was so spicy. But I do love hot food, but um, I wasn't expecting it to be that spicy. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was really really nice. We had like prawn toast, chicken satay, all the good stuff. Um, so yeah, that was that was lovely. Uh, I'm trying to think what I did at the weekend. Um, I can't really remember. I feel like I did do something though. <laughs> anyway, uh, so on Saturday. This is where I got spendy and the spendiness has continued to the end of the month. Um, so I spent £37.30 30 on Etsy. Uh, so you may have seen my uh, Happy Mail video. Um, I bought a lovely new binder from the lovely Eva the Rocking Witch. Um, and also a bookmark and I obviously got gifted some things as well from her and Abby at, at Little Moon Budgets and uh, I also bought something from Violet Moon Budgets and I also spent £34.20 on some Rockfit merch um, they had a sale on their instructor stuff and I'm now obviously past my Rockfit qualification so yeah I thought I'd get in on the sale and get just a vest top and some leggings that say instructor on them. So that's so exciting. Um, so yeah, that is really, really good. And then on Sunday, I spent £24.79 on a company called Peak to do like alternative um, Disney, like pop culture kind of uh, t-shirts and hoodies. And I got a Little Mermaid one and it's like Ursula with Ariel and Founder and Sebastian. Um, uh, yeah, it's amazing. I love it. Like, it's like alternative style. Um, so, yeah, I had to have it. Um, and they had 20% off as well. So I did get that for a bit of a discount. But yeah, that was unbudgeted for. Um, and then on Monday, I had a big unbudgeted spend at Sheen, I spent £118.61. I went a bit mad. Um, but I've got some things I wanted to get for download, like in terms of like outfits. 
So um, yeah, two things have arrived already and I am in love. Um, I got these like, they're mesh black flares um, and then they've got stars all over them. They are absolutely stunning. They feel so soft and like I feel really awesome in them. <laughs> they're, they're so cool. And then I got a little like black halter neck top with some um, like tassels, like fringing around the front. So it's a bit like cowboy, like I love it. I love, love, love it. So um, I might wear that to slam dunk this weekend. Not decided yet. <laughs> And then I spent £15 pounds, um, on the Tesco shops. I got some bits and bobs uh, for download. I've already started like my download shopping. I've got the breakfast wine and I've got some pot noodles, some coffees, sachets. I um, can't remember what else I've got. But yeah, we're, we're starting with the packing um, and getting that all kind of organised for the campsite. Uh, I then spent and made my very first Timu order <laughs> on Tuesday, which was £27.77p. I bought two pairs of shoes. One of them are like kind of boot kind of trainers. So I was trying to find something that's not going to kill my feet, but does look aesthetically pleasing for download. Um, but they are a size seven and they may not fit me. Um, so we'll see whether or not those... Um, turn up or any good and I've also got a pair of boots as well to try um so yeah we shall we'll see what they're like but I thought I'd give it a go and like yeah I've just been in this spendy frame of mind um and then I spent £11.33 for a practice session for pole um I did two classes on Tuesday back to back and I was absolutely rinsed <laughs> I was dripping with sweat i only did choreo which is just basically like dancing um around the pole not like any of the proper lifts and tricks and things like that like the, there is some there's a lot of strength in it still but all oh my days i was a drippy sweaty mess um so yeah uh that was tuesday then on wednesday i spent four pounds on amazon i bought the powerless book um that I've seen quite a few people have recommended to me. So um, yeah, that turned up today actually. So I have got it next to my bed with my Rocking Witch bookmark in it, ready to go before bedtime tonight instead of me doom scrolling. Um, so yeah, and I spent two pound nine pence on Vinted. Um, I did have a couple of sales on Vinted. I think I had like six quid come in, but I spent some of that plus two pounds and nine pence of my own money. Um, on a couple of bits for a really ridiculous download out like costume not even an outfit it's a costume um for one of the rock fit classes <laughs> Just, uh, it's basically like a lifeguardy like a, it's a red bathing suit <laughs> and um some yellow shorts um i just need to get maybe like a lifeguard visor and a whistle and i'm sorted but i won't, it won't be in it for long <laughs> i hope anyway um but yeah just for one particular song that we do in rock fit that's just got like funny dressy uppy vibes so yeah i'm really annoyed i can't remember what i did at the weekend i feel like i did something oh yeah it was really nice weather on sunday wasn't it so I sunbathed a lot of Sunday, which was really nice. Um, and then, yeah, I can't remember what I did Saturday at all. It escapes me, but yeah. So yeah, that was my week. Hope you have all had a good week. Let me know what you have been up to. Did you overspend this week like I did? Um, yeah, I think because I knew it was so close to payday um, and that I still had time to like adjust my budget for, <laughs> for this month. I just kind of went for it. Um, but yeah, I have balanced the budget. Everything is now kind of as it should be. I'm not in the red anywhere, like, which is great. Um, cause I did take some money out of my sinking funds that are in the bank just to make those purchases. But now that I've been paid today, all that money is gone back. I've adjusted my budget. I'm not going to debt or anything like that. Like, I can afford these things, um, but yeah, I've just had to 
rearrange my budget uh, for this month, which is fine. I still am on track to hit my goals. Um, my budget is thankfully got enough wiggle room in it for me to do that. So yeah, I am really grateful for that. So let's see how much we've got left from this week. I can tell you not a lot <laughs> straight away. And um, I'm just going to grab the pigs. I always forget the wee piggies. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, the piggies are back. And I'm not even bothered with the um, the cash tray because there's definitely no notes to be uh, had. Um, so spending money is empty. We've got some shrapnel in petrol. So two, four... 2040, 63p. Um, actually, I've got some petrol. Did I put that in my check-in? I'm not sure I did. Oh, well. Uh, and two pounds left in eating out because it's end of the month, so you are just closing these down. But uh, some of the stuff I bought off Shen has come from the beauty envelope. So the five pounds that was in there, um, I've given it back to myself. I have also, uh, just thinking about it, keep you guys up to date, uh, blockers, £50 went back to the bank. This challenge didn't have any particular kind of purpose, and I think I did mention in a, a few videos ago that I may buy some clothes with it. So, um, yeah, the £50 that was in the bank has gone. So, that's gone, gone. So, yeah. But yeah, that's, that's fine. Like I say, like, I've got the wiggle room with this method to be able to have a little splurge every now and then and it not affect my goals and budget too much. So I'm very, very, very grateful and appreciative and know I'm in a, a very privileged position to be able to do that. So let's go to this binder and we'll just put all of this into the penny savings challenge to try and get that as near to complete as we can because I know that I'm very close uh with this now like i counted it up and there was like nine pounds 98 or something at one point um where did i put my calculator here we go so two pounds 63 what have we got uh so minus 51 oh wait 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 wait, wait, wait. 2.63 minus 0 0.51 Minus point four nine, minus point four seven, minus point oh no no no, point four six, minus point four four, and twenty six. So that was a good round. So yeah, really not that many to go. I'm hoping maybe I can get it done by next week because I could really do with this £50 um, to help me with just a couple of challenges I'd like to get done this month. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. So let's pop £2 into my little porky pounds and the silvers into my silver sausage if they fit. Sorry about the noise. And the coppers into our copper chops. There we go. So that is it. That's all checked in and closed out for my April budget. So thank you ever so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Please let me know about Bridgerton. And um, I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.